Breaking news as you see here, and this concerns the football Aussie Ardiles. Uh, Ian Woods is here to tell us he's been involved in an accident. And an unusual place as well in the Falkland Islands. He and Ricky Velia, his uh, former Spurs and Argentina teammate, remember they were signed after the 1978 World Cup and came to play at Tottenham Hotspur. The two of them were in the Falklands with ESPN making a, a documentary about the Falklands War because you remember that the Falklands War effectively uh, curtailed their Spurs careers because it happened at the same time as they were playing at White Hart Lane. Ricky Villa left the club. Uh, Ozzy Ardiles had to go and play in Paris, uh, Paris Saint-Germain uh, for a little while as well because of the Falklands conflict. Well, they were invited back to the Falklands to take part in a documentary there about how it had affected their careers and they arrived on Saturday. They were driving last night uh, with uh, their crew along the road from Darwin uh, to Stanley. It's not a great road. I've driven that road several times. It's not a, a fully paved road. Uh, they were involved in an accident. Uh, one witness uh, described it that uh, Ozzy Gardiles was uh, driving the car. He saw uh, a sheep on the road and swerved uh, to avoid it. Uh, some of his uh, uh, crew were uh, less seriously injured, but he had a head injury, which was serious enough for the RAF search and rescue helicopter to come and pick him up and take him to the local hospital in Stanley. Now, we've spoken to a nurse uh, in the hospital this morning who says that he's fine, but clearly we're monitoring his condition because Ozzy Ardiles is a real cult hero at Spurs. Went on, of course, to become their manager, mm -hmm. also managed West Brom and Newcastle as well, currently working in Japan. You can see the road there, which uh, links uh, some of the major towns uh, in uh, the Falkland Islands, and you can see the, the quality of the road is, is not that great. 